Good afternoon and welcome to a special auto show edition of the Windsor Star's Net News at Noon. I'm Craig Pearson with Don MacArthur bringing you the best from the paper and the web. And here we are at the North American International Auto Show. Not quite as fancy and flashy as years past perhaps. They're not driving cattle down Jefferson or anything like they, they have done in the past. But lots of cars are still here. Lots of fun. What's the latest? Okay, well, big day for Ford. Here we're in the uh, Ford section, the Blue Oval, and uh, they won both Car and Truck of the Year uh, this morning, just announced. Uh, it's only the third time in the 17-year history of uh, these awards that are voted on by 49 journalists from both sides uh, of the border. Only the third time that a company has won both awards. So for Ford, uh, the Transit Connect uh, beat out the Subaru Outback and the Chevy Equinox in Truck of the Year. And of course, last year, the Ford F-150 uh, picked up the award. And in cars, uh, the Ford Fusion Hybrid uh, beat out the Volkswagen Golf and uh, the Buick of lacrosse, so a uh, big day for Ford. Actually, Ford seems to be on a bit of a roll. A few years ago, Ford was the one that was in trouble. They went into sort of emergency mode back then, changed things around, and they are the one who are looking good. It's the competitors that are struggling a little bit. Without tax dollars, so uh, who knows? Every, everything's looking good. So we've got a, a couple of special things coming up. A special oh yeah, uh, make sure you stick with us folks. At 11 o'clock, uh, Industry Minister Tony Clement uh, is going to be here. We're going to try to scrum him, uh, get the latest uh, and greatest uh, from him, uh, some quotes at the scene. Uh, he's here, he's going to be test driving a battery operated car. They're huge uh, this year. They got a whole section, uh, Electric Avenue, uh, devoted to the cars. We have a special Ford guest coming up in a second, so stick with that. Yeah, he'll be here too. And uh, I guess we should do a little bit of uh, local news very quickly. Because winter still matters, even in Detroit. <laughs> That's right. Uh, police say that uh, speed and alcohol was a factor in Amherstburg on Sunday in a snowmobile death of a 19-year-old female passenger, a 18-year-old man is facing charges. And there was another impaired driving incident, allegedly, uh, when a man actually came across the overpass on University Avenue and hit a uh, Windsor police cruiser. So, uh, bad luck on that front. Uh, and where would we be without uh, the Winter Spitfires? I actually checked out a game yesterday, bought myself a $25 blue hat. It's going to replace my Tiger Woods cap, and uh, <laughs> uh, the, the boys won. And a huge blockbuster trade, LaSalle, Zach Cassian has come to the team. We had to give away Austin Watson and uh, like a 2012 and 14 uh, draft pick. So a lot of things we gave away, but this guy is one. He's coming from the Peets. Uh, he's apparently, he was been likened to Bob Probert. Tough guy. You know Bob Probert, exactly, uh, in today's paper. Uh, and uh, Bugner uh, the coach said he brings a lot of grit and a lot of sandpaper and uh, which you know the hockey team uh, you know they need those grinders this guy apparently according to the Duffer according to some other stories he's a leader uh, the Spitz gave away a lot but they say this is what they need if they want to repeat as Memorial Cup champs big game Thursday night uh, Barry Colts are in town we're going to live blog that game for you uh, like we live blogged all the games and, and I just got to tell you this because these guys they bust their chops like live blogging these games all the time they set a record sort of a personal best in the World Juniors that one people all across the country tuned into that. They had well over a thousand people uh, clicking and talking and chatting uh, as the boys unfortunately uh, only took a silver. Excellent. Uh, and I'm glad you mentioned about this guy's going to be a tough guy fighting back. Windsor's fighting back. Windsor's fighting back in more ways. So on the hockey uh, rink, but also with Ford products. The Essex Engine Plan is going to be building, or, and has actually already started building, a new uh, five liter Mustang GT engine. And to talk about that, a very special guest is Gary Limata, who is Ford's engineering supervisor for that engine. Gary, if you could. Thanks so much for coming on to talk to no us problem. about that. I have to run. I've got other stuff to do. GM conference? Yeah, i got to go. Okay, check back on the web for the latest and greatest. Pearson, thanks a lot, brother. Thanks a lot. And we'll thanks you so soon. much for talking with us. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, so tell us, uh, come in close here uh, and okay. tell us a bit, uh, what, what's the firepower on this engine we're going to be building in Windsor? Well, this engine will do 412 horsepower at 650 RPM, 390 foot-pounds of torque at 4250. It's got a very broad torque band that's a gift of TIVCT, which is a new technology that we're using on this engine it's called cam torque actuated uh, variable cam timing and so we're very excited by the product it's a joy to drive and uh, everyone's really fired up okay uh Half of what you just said, I don't understand. You know, this is my first, that's my first auto show, folks. I didn't have a car until I was 35. It's a Chevy Cab, unfortunately. Oh, no. So in terms of, uh, like, driver experience, like, you, you know, forget the numbers, forget the math. You're a driver. You get behind the wheel. What about that? Well, it, it, this is a car that actually, like, speaks to you on a soul level. You, you step on the gas, and you hear that naturally aspirated V8 just roar. It, it just does something to you. And it's just, like I said, it's just a joy to drive. Okay, now this bad boy, it's bound for the Mustang, right? That's correct. Now that's a very popular. Yes, it's one of our uh, one of our mainstays, and and we have a really exciting climate nowadays. Now when we have the Camaro back and 
the Challenger back. So we have the old pony car, and it's, it's just a great time to be an engineer at Ford Motor Company and uh, in the industry. Okay, beautiful. He's got the blue oval on his lapel. Okay, folks, uh, so, so thank you very much. Stick with us, okay? Grace Macaluso is here. Uh, Dave Hall is here. Craig Pearson uh, is here. Uh, we got photos, uh, photographers here. Uh, we are all over this all day long on the web. Tomorrow in the paper. Make sure you check it out. Uh, I think it opens to the public, what, on Saturday, right? Um, yeah, Seven? we had the charity preview on Friday, and then okay. Saturday is open to the public. So check it out on the Winter Star, and, and then come on down, folks. We're going to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for joining us oh, uh, for the Net Pleasure. News at noon. Uh, on your Online and on your doorstep, we're the Windsor Star. Thank you.